guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I thought I would share with you how to make a busy book for your little one or toddler. This has been so invaluable to us and it's so easy to DIY and to do for pretty much free. So I thought I would share that with you today. This one here, oh, she loves this book. Like the fact that I have taken it from her to film this video. I'm not sure how well it's gonna go. She loves it. She will just play with this all day. I will show you exactly how I make it. So the very first thing that you need is a binder. Any binder will do. One that you have around the house if you don't wanna go buy one, but that's the first thing you need. The next thing that you need is a good laminator. This one is the one I have. I will link it in the description below. You don't need anything too fancy, but just something that works. It'll just make sure that you can actually use this busy book over time, not just for a day. And if you are just purchasing a laminator, um, you may also need some extra laminating sheets. I always buy these on Amazon because it is definitely where you can get them much cheaper than in store. The next thing you'll need are these little Velcro dots. I can link it in the description where I got mine from, but it basically is, has one stack of the um, kind of softer side and then one roll of the rough side. That way you can Velcro the things in the book so that kids can do this activity over and over. And then finally, you're gonna need a good pair of scissors to cut things out and make sure that it can make the busy book. Again, you're probably gonna need internet access, a printer, you know, those things, a computer, those things that you would need to like do this too, but I figure most of you have those in your homes already. So these are kind of the other supplies that you're gonna need to do this. All right, so I'll give you a quick glimpse of the book before we kind of go through things, but this is what our book looks like. I laminate them, I put them in the binder, and then you can flip through to different pages of you know, the things that you are working on or that you want your baby to work on or things that they like, whatever it is. So this is in general what a busy book is. Now, to do that, to go and get those pages, you don't have to create anything new for yourself. Basically what I do is I go online, I search for the things I like, I print them off, laminate them, cut them out, put them in the binder. That's what I do. So I will now go through each page, tell you where I got them from and you know where you can get that resource and I'll link them all in the description so that you can easily go click them. Now the caveat is, is that you must be a subscriber to some of these pages or some of these, actually I think in this binder, I really only use two resources and you have to be a member of their website, which just means signing up for their newsletter and it's totally free, but you have to do that in order to get access to these printables. So just know that in advance, but I think you're gonna find pretty much everywhere that that's the case. The other resource that I haven't used for this book in particular, but it's another good resource, is Teachers Pay Teachers. There's a filter for free, and you can kind of put in what you're looking for and you know find things there. But, all right, let's look at the book. Okay, so here is my first page. This comes from Tot Schooling, and this was the one I was using to work on shapes and colors. Now, as you can see, I'm missing a couple because over time, over the past year that we've had this, um, this little one here, likes to come in and do this book and sometimes the pieces go everywhere. So what I would recommend is as you find these pages, save them to as a PDF on your computer in a little folder so that if pieces go missing, you can reprint and get the pieces back. So this is one from Tot Schooling. Here's one that I was working on fruits and colors. This one again is from Tot Schooling. Here is one to work on body parts, and I liked the you know up close one and the further apart one to work on different things. This one is again from Tot Schooling. Here is one on animals, and I have it in their respective you know place where they would live. Again, another Tot Schooling resource. Like I said, most of these come from one or two sources. This one here is different foods, and this one comes from a site called The Measured Mom. Here's animals, again, from The Measured Mom. If you get a two inch hole punch, these come out really easy and you actually don't have to use scissors, you can just use that hole punch. Another one from Measured Mom, this is all forms of transportation. Another from Measured Mom, here is Around the House. 
This is another resource from totschooling.net and it helps with sorting and so this is by Seasons and I do really like this but this is not yet something we have come to because she is 15 months. So this specific page will be more for once she turns two, I think. And kind of in the last of the book, the way that I or kind of organize this book is easiest to hardest. So that is kind of why I did it that way. We haven't really gotten to the pages here yet. Here's another color sorting one. This one is another one from Tot Schooling. And here we just have more colors again from Tot Schooling. And more colors again from Tot Schooling. And then last but not least, I have um, matching animals front to behind. So again, this is kind of animals, but this one's a little more tricky. This one is from Tot Schooling as well. And then I guess the other thing I didn't mention is a hole punch. You will need a hole punch to put them in the binder. All right, so that is how you make a busy binder. And you can do this for whatever ages you're looking for. My book specifically was for the one to two and a half age-ish time frame, And that's because usually around two and a half, I'll start doing some other homeschool stuff with them. So um, yeah, but you can do your book however you want for whatever age it is that you want. This book has been really good for road trips. It's been really good for just classroom use and daily use. She really, really, really enjoys it. So that is how you make it. And if you have any questions, let me know in the comments below. I will see you guys in the next video. Bye. You wanna wave? Okay. Bye bye. You wanna make an appearance? You wanna say bye bye? Do you wanna say bye bye? Bye bye. You wanna say bye bye? Yeah. Yeah.